Thanks for joining us on this Monday night here at five. The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors just voted unanimously to suspend Paul Peterson for 120 days without pay. Now this as pressure grows for the county assessor to resign from office. Our political editor Dennis Welch was at that meeting. He joins us live from downtown Phoenix. Dennis. Yeah, now as part of that disciplinary action that the board took today, Mr. Peterson also stands to lose any benefits he receives from the county after 60 days. However, we're also learning another big piece of this story, and I'm talking about the results of this internal audit here that was just released that was conducted inside the assessor's office. And what it shows, according to county officials, is that Mr. Peterson conducted a bulk of his work on county time and used county resources to do his personal business for his legal affairs as well as the adoptions. Now, Chairman Bill Gates at first provided some of those details into the audit, which they had launched about two weeks ago. Now, that review, according to Mr. Gates, included looking at about 1,500 documents dating back some 13 years. Now, the audit revealed about 14% of those documents showed work for official county business, meaning the remaining 86% was for his personal legal business as well as the adoptions, a fact that didn't sit well with the chairman after they suspended him today. I was surprised by that. Yeah, I, I, I didn't expect that. Uh, those sorts of documents. I didn't expect that the county assessor would be doing that work. We have a county policy that county employees are not to be using county resources to do outside work, you know, outside sort of another job or something like that. And we certainly hope that the countywide elected officials would follow that same rule. Now that audit also points out that Mr. Peterson did not have any remote access to his computer. So they say that they claim that Mr. Peterson was doing his personal legal business as well as the adoption stuff out of his office. Now I also want to mention that the board will begin immediately searching for a temporary replacement for Mr. Peterson. No timeline on when they want to complete that, wrap that up, but they do want to act pretty quickly on that. We'll send it back into you. And quickly, Dennis, the County Board of Supervisors, they would appoint someone in the interim. That is my understanding. They said that today right after they took the after they suspended Mr. Peterson, that they will immediately begin that search for a replacement, which we can only assume is going to be temporary, given that this disciplinary action is for 120 days or basically four months. And that takes us right in through the first of the year when the state legislature goes back into session. Dennis, lots of good reporting down there from live from downtown. Thank you.